All right, now I'm sure you guys have all heard about RAM, random access memory, and you probably know that there are different types. The really old one is DDR2, probably not used anymore. DDR3, which is gonna be most computers today, and then the brand new DDR4, which just came out about a month ago, a month or two ago, and this is gonna be used probably in most new computers, top-end computers. So what do you really get with the new DDR4? What are the improvements? Well, first of all, there are more pins on the actual chip itself. There are 288 pins, which means more connections than the previous 240. So what does that get you? That gets you a higher bandwidth, which means that there is more information being able to be passed between the chip and the motherboard. Also, DDR3 was two channel, dual channel, but DDR4 is quad channel. Now, I'm not really gonna get into the details of all that because honestly, I don't really know the details myself. Basically, that's gonna mean you're gonna be able to do more multitasking, things are gonna be more efficient, and with the more pins, more physical connections, that's gonna be a huge improvement, even if the frequency and timings of the RAM are the same. Now, if you haven't seen my previous video about RAM latency versus frequency, you can check that out right here. I'll put an annotation linking to that so you can get a better idea of what the frequency versus latency is before I talk about it right now. So basically, that's kind of the downside of the new DDR4. They're not that great in terms of frequency and latency right now, but they are gonna be improving really soon. Obviously, DDR4 is gonna be better performing than any DDR3 chip at the same specs. But the latencies for the frequencies are not that great right now. New chips coming out soon, you're gonna be able to get a lower latency for a given higher frequency, which will significantly improve performance. And this is pretty typical. As manufacturers get more familiar with the new style of RAM, then they're gonna be getting better at making better chips. But those aren't out yet. I think I saw December, HyperX, I think is the name of the company, is coming out with some new lower latency chips, which might be more expensive, but you know, they're gonna be top of the line. Now, if you're thinking about upgrading your current computer to DDR4, unfortunately, you probably won't be able to do it because it's not backwards compatible. DDR4 the, has obviously more pins, like I said, so it's not gonna fit into a DDR3 slot. So you have to get a new motherboard new platform that supports DDR4. X99 is one of them, and I don't even know if there's any other ones right now. I haven't really been in the market for any AMD boards, so I can't tell you that off the top of my head. But obviously, real soon, either way, we're gonna see some new motherboards coming out on both sides that are gonna support DDR4. Now, you can still buy motherboards and computers that are DDR3 if you wanna save some money. Obviously, DDR3 is gonna be dropping in price as DDR4 is gonna be more adopted. So if you're building a budget PC, you probably wanna go with DDR3. But if you're going for real performance and you're not really concerned with having a super low budget, you may as well go with DDR4. At least wait a, mi a bit maybe till the prices drop or the new ones come out and you can get the, the older, slower RAM and then you can get better budget. So I guess that's pretty much it. Let me know in the comments if you guys are PC builders, did you build a new computer recently with DDR4 memory, that's what I did. And also, would you rather just get a new DDR3 computer, save the money? When would you bother getting DDR4? Let me know in the comments. I'm interested to hear what you guys have to say as usual. And also, don't forget to subscribe because I make new videos all the time, try to make it at least once a week. And also, like the video, that helps as well. So I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.